Hello, Carbal Geek here, and this is the second video in the Everdell series, Everdell Belfair. Uh, unlike the Spire Crest, this will not have a collector's edition. It's by Starling Games, and the artwork, as always, by Andrew Bosley is lovely. Um, personally, not my favourite cover out of all the games, but uh, still pretty nonetheless. And if we flip this over... And we can see that uh, the King is throwing an unprecedented year-long event to commemorate the 100th year since Everdell's founding. Come one, come all. And it expands the player count up to five to six players. Uh, and the duration is expected between 40 to 120 minutes. Now, it does say ages 14 plus, but I really don't see any reason why uh, that isn't very flexible. Um... Yes, there's a lot going on, but it is a worker placement and easily picked up, and there's obviously no disturbing content. Um, this, for some, it will be controversial, will remove the tree. Now, I like my tree. I've got the wooden one as well, which is quite nice. However, it does sometimes cause issues, particularly with a lot of players, and obviously with an increase to six players, it is going to become more of a problem. So the board in itself addresses some of those issues and ensures that we can all play Everdell nicely and indulge ourselves in this lovely world of uh, anthropomorphic animals. And so I'll, I'll open the box. Um, good, usual, tight fit, which is nice, and good quality box, and... Uh, Good cat sitting area, should you let your cat sit in your box lids, a la Isle of Cats. Um, and we have the usual catalogue, talking about cats. Um, though I've been through the catalogue in the previous one, and it's the same, so that's not really much surprise. Lovely rule book, as usual. No poetry in this one, but gives you all the bits and pieces you need to know. Uh... All the extra modules, explanations, player powers, nice addition. I always like that. I remember when they did that with uh, King of Tokyo. And uh, more solo game notes in order to allow you to um, alter your game in that manner. Uh, some nice little uh, clarifications as well here. Uh, variants. So, anyway, that's that aside. Let's... Uh, just move this slightly sideways and I'll plonk that down there so we can all see what's going on and what we're dealing with. Anyway, so nice to see another foam insert. Keeps that board safe, stops it getting damaged. Though the board itself is not large. Uh, placed for the special events. Now, as I have pointed out, there are places you can get some nice 3D printed like leaf stands. Uh, board Game and Trading on Facebook is a particular place to go. I can't recall the name of the person who does them, but they do do a wonderful job. I'm thinking of getting some myself. Um, but yes, this so basically replaces the tree and has the reminder up here for what you gain at the time. Uh, and there's other little bits and pieces, including the market. I'm sure that will be explained in the game. So Space for the Special Events is there. I'll just put that up there. Right, now let's just have a look, because this looks like an awful lot of cardboard. It is. Again, nice thick cardboard. We like to see that. Component quality throughout the whole series has always been quite nice. I mean, most people, I think, agree the squishy berries are particularly a favourite uh, of everyone. Um, not so much the original logs, but they replaced that and they sorted that rolling matter out. So we've got um, a few bits and pieces here. Not entirely sure what's going on. I'm sure the rules will explain. Uh, oh, now these are player boards. Um, obviously, with the tree going on one level, it's a difficult thing to place your workers. Um, now, they will, I'm assuming, as usual, get placed placed here. But these player boards are quite nice. They're all different. I know you can get some online variants, which could work well with this. But uh, I believe uh, 
you're intended to place all your workers along here and then your bits and pieces that you gather here so they're quite nice and we've got uh, nice lily pads there trees uh, oh i like that one that's quite nice that nice snowy one um oh uh, lovely little dell with little houses up there again all andrew bosley art all very nice uh that's also particularly nice there little house in there for critters and uh some holes in the ground so that's quite nice not a lot really um oh and really not a lot there's very little again though more baggies I mentioned in my last video i like my baggies always a good sign and it's nicely cut if you can see this uh, so you can put things in it and we've got extra animals now again with their frogs so let's get these out so what have we got we've got um oh cardinal birds potentially Ariana, uh yep cardinals any arizona cardinals fans out there uh if you're an american football fan um and uh what's these oh interesting um not entirely sure those uh toads they've all even got a little hat on well maybe they're going for a drive later that'll annoy moly and ratty um and obviously they come with their frogs for pearlbrook uh so basically it supplies you everything you need to combine this with previous editions and my usual clumsy self trying to put them away and uh, get them in there oh. i say again the quality of these wood pieces is really really nice uh just generally feels better than plastic in my opinion obviously uh you can obviously get more detail in plastic and uh let me have a look at this these are additional cards let me have a look at the things so we can work out what they are now apparently there's four extra forest cards which i'm guessing are those if i remember correctly all right so yes we have four forest cards so more variety uh that's quite nice take two resin or two berries uh oh three resin can see that going down well um pay three twigs then gain three of any resource again very nice um obviously these are all marked over four players as indicated there and uh, i particularly like um this one which is uh activating any of your productions and you get to activate two if you go there oh sorry second space is for four my mistake so i can see these going down very well in the game and uh along with that uh we have uh player powers so uh and have they've nicely covered player powers for the uh spycrest expansion with the foxes there but we've got axolotls from Pearl Brook, Cardinals, very pretty card there. Uh, as I said, if you're an American football fan, I'm sure Arizona Cardinals fans will love that edition. Um, foxes, hedgehogs, lizards. So actually the fact they've got the lizards means they've also include the collector's edition there. And uh, oh, excuse the noise in the background as my son going in and out. Um currently having a workout in the back garden with his american football skills and he plays the local team sheffield giants so shout out to any sheffield giants who are watching um and we have uh owls so yeah they've covered the collector's edition extra animals so that's nice everything's all uh covered up rats so but yeah again i keep repeating myself i do apologize they have covered all those potential player characters and now everyone has their own little power. Uh, squirrels, for example. Love this. Master woodcrafters, any time you gain at least one wood, you gain additional wood. 
and when playing production you may pay two wood to replace any other resource. So that makes them a lot more flexible and uh, all the other animals are similar. And we have more... Um... Oh, that's quite nice. More uh, events, which is nice again. So all expanding out, adding much more variety, a little more flexibility and uh, more players for the game. And that can only be a good thing, really. So with that, uh, that's uh, Everdell Belfair, uh, another addition to the Everdell group. And uh, I, do, I, say, I do have to say, I've been impressed with the component quality throughout this game so um like or subscribe um we are fairly new as an actual channel so <laughs> there's not a lot of content on here yet we're hoping to put more on um and feel free to leave comments below thank you um this is cardboard geek and uh goodbye <laughs>